Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily. First thing as you wake up, listen to Tony Point Audio, meditate on the teachings, listen to the testimonies, pray the fervent personal prayers, and receive the healing prayers, whichever one is running for the week. The beautiful thing is that they are all impactful and they are all blessing. Then turn to the Tony Point Daily Devotional Prayer Booklet, also authored by me. It will bless you. Welcome to Friday, day 5 in July 2024. 5, as we all know, is God's number for grace. So open your hand and heart for grace in partitional blessings today. Be responding with amen. I receive it. Grace. Grace of God is his unmerited favor poured on his children. Grace is God's recompense at Christ's expense. Grace is the bountiful love of God shown to us because of Christ. Grace is an angel. Grace is a divine force. Grace qualifies us for what we are not naturally qualified for. God does not choose the qualified. He qualified the chosen by grace. So I prophesy this day upon all. You will enjoy the greater dimension of, of God's grace in all you do. Grace gives access. By God's grace, you will have access to levels you never imagined. Your children will have access to levels, your business, your career, your ministry, to levels you can never imagine. In the name of Jesus, you will go from height to height. God's grace does not leave a person on the same spot. It moves and propels forward. It gives speed and motion. It prospers. Grace promotes. It opens doors. It saves sinners from sin and turns sinners into saints of God. I pray again on this day five, day grace. Receive the saving grace. Receive the lifting grace. Receive the healing grace. Receive the multiplication grace. Receive the fruitfulness grace. Receive the healing grace. Receive God's grace for your next desired turn around. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7. Part B says, And she shall bring forth the headstone thereof. We shout in grace, grace. Ah, open your heart one more time. Over your life and business and career and children and ministry, over your programs and every good thing you have in life, I shout grace, 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 grace. From today, your middle name shall be called grace. You will see the power of God in an unusual dimension. Say amen. After these prayers, please go and try something you have tried before that did not quite succeed. Anoint yourself, pray fervently using relevant Bible verses. Try that thing again. Go back there again. Send an SMS. Make a call. Put in for it again. Send a reminder. That door shall open. Your request shall be granted. Your money shall be paid. Your goods shall be released. Your market will sell. You will hit and surpass your target. Allegations and petitions against you and your loved ones shall be dropped. Grace. Grace. You become epitome of grace from today. In Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it three times. Wow. Wait and see what will happen to you and for you within the next 24 hours of this praise, of this prayer. You will have major testimony. July 5 celebrant, your birthday prayers, be blessed. Your birthday is blessed. Your new age is blessed also. You will live a long, productive, healthy, and impactful life. Say amen. Happy birthday from all of us to all of you. I pray specially today for all TPGF members all over the world that prayed for me fervently on my birthday and those that sowed precious seed, connection to grace 69. Many are still sending and sowing. I feel your love. I appreciate your seed. You shall not do so in vain. Anytime God blesses me in any way, it shall spread and flow to you. I promise to keep praying for you. You shall see the impact of my prayers on your life. Now let's take the first issue today for practical teachings and counsel. Daddy, what shall I do to the man who refused to stand up in business again after the first one got burnt down? 
I am a civil servant and I have to pay the whole house bills. And I made business suggestion to him that he won't listen to. And then um, I have told him to start doing something, but he won't listen. He prefer that I give him the money, which he will always squander. He does not have anyone he listen to. I have lost my affection and respect for him. I feel like running away from this house. God bless you, sir. Wow. Oh, there. He suffered a loss and got so discouraged instead of rising up and starting again. Everyone in life suffers one setback or the other, but we must rise up again. His main problem is not having a mentor or anyone he listens to. Everyone in life should have someone you can talk to in one's down moment, apart from praying to God. Don't just say, I have prayed to God. This is why it is also necessary to do insurance on our businesses and valuables. Well, running away from the house will not be the solution. Stay with him and your children. See, have affection for him. Start warfare prayers in earnest. Don't let him be so frustrated that he slides into doing some silly things. Don't let him be so frustrated and disappointed that can lead to depression or even suicide thought, especially if he has seen some measure of success before and then this one happened. With prayers and love, God will intervene. And if there is still someone you can bring to talk to him, I mean some your pastor in your church, aren't you church people? Don't you have pastor over you? Some elders, an uncle, some mature friend. Anyway, we have started praying for you from here. Get involved in warfare prayers over him. God will intervene. Proverbs 24 verse 16 says, For the just man falleth seven times and rises up again. I prophesy, anyone that has suffered any loss or setback, listen to me now, you shall rise again. Next, good morning, my pastor, and cherished TPGF members. Wow, I like that. My cherished TP, TPGF members. Sir, on gifting someone something the first day of the month, my question is, can we give gift to more than one person? Thank you, sir. Wow, oh yes. You can give gift to more than one person and more than one thing. Proverbs 11.25 says, The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So let's do as we have the grace to do. I want to thank all my listeners who always do the things I ask you to do, including sowing gifts to people's life in the first day of the month. Next, good day, daddy. I need to know if I am meant to still pay tight on my full salary. I took a loan from the office to rent an apartment. Now the loan is being deducted. My full salary is not paid again. How then can I calculate my tight now? Wow. My first reaction is why take loan to rent an apartment? Apartment renting is not an investment. And it does not take a long time for an annual rent to fall due. Then will you start looking for money again? Why not rent an affordable place? Number two, obviously your income is low, is small. My regular teaching here is that no one should be a one source income person. Does your work not allow you to do something by decide to earn more income? Are you internet literate? Can you learn and do some trading and render some online services for more money? Think along this line on your question. I have said this again and again. A salary earner should pay 10% on gross earning. The 100% of your earning is where you pay 10%. Only in business do you pay 10% on your net profit. That is gross profit minus running costs. You pay 10% on the rest. The truth is, tightening is stressful when one is not earning much. So my listeners, add value to yourself to earn more income. And let everyone trust God and pray to have additional income. God will grant grant all my listeners ideas for new income earning platform and destiny help us in Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it. Next, good day, daddy. I want to request that you choose one day in the week or in the month to bless our mantles on this platform because of those joining us every day. Sometimes going back to be tracing the blessing of mantle messages can be very difficult. And it could be the first Sunday or first Saturday of the month. 
Thank you, Daddy, as you reason on this. Wow. Yes, many people are daily joining us. Okay, I see what I can do. Time is always our constraint on this platform. And I have so many things running on my head, so many things on my mind. When I am doing this ministration, is always under pressure. Yet, I don't want to reduce our prayer time. See how long it took us to revelate and to pray grace into our lives today. And these things come to me by inspiration. And my desire is that all listeners be blessed. I pray over man two weekly on Thursday prayer mountain services. If you can be online in the two services every Thursday, you know you can watch live or watch later. But I hear you. So everyone, prepare your mantle, your anointing oil, and your bottles of water tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, as we take communion, I will bless mantle. But I will not promise doing it weekly. I just we do it as God gives me grace. So help me God. Everybody say amen for daddy now. God really needs to help me. Please rebroadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. Join us later today on the live broadcast on our social media platforms. Time is 8 to 9 p.m. Nigeria time. Tomorrow is our Holy Communion Service Day online. Prepare your communion element this evening. And after receiving turning point ministration, you just take it. Our seven day fasting, July 1 to 7, enter the fifth day today. It will end on Sunday. Our special monthly serve our seed sowing this month is seed 7777. As many sevens as you can sow and you can add, do so. People are already doing it and testimonies are coming. I want to thank God for so many members on this platform. You have become addicted tighter and see sowers. Keep it up. You will soon be starting in seven, eight, nine figures. You will soon be giving seed in hundreds of thousands in pound sterling, in dollar, in euro, in shilling, Canadian dollars, in cities, in naira. All over the world, TPGF is a fertile soil and ground to sow tight and sow seed as led of God. I prophesy to everyone's life today, the power of God will rest on you. We have prophesied grace today. You will not know disgrace. The Lord bless you. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I am Femi Emmanuel. TPGF. Answer, truly blessed.